Assembly language is essentially human readable machine code. Any lower and you're writing binary. In the process you have instructions to move data around, jump on conditions and more. Let's look at my computer screen so you can truly understand. Your processor is built from transistors that form logic gates. These logic gates are arranged in specific patterns within the processor to implement operation codes, which are the fundamental instructions the processor can understand and execute. Opcodes enable the processor to perform tasks such as moving data in memory, jumping to specific locations in memory to execute code, or evaluating conditions like whether true equals false. Assembly language gives us a way to communicate directly with these opcodes, allowing us to control the processor's hardware functions at the lowest level. In Intel processors, you have what is known as registers. Registers are small memory regions in the processor that can hold data temporarily for quick access during instruction execution. They are used to store things like numbers being calculated, memory addresses, or the results of operations. Because registers are physically located inside the CPU, accessing them is much faster than accessing data in random access memory. Each register typically has a specific purpose. For example, some are used for arrhythmic operations, others for stack management, and some for holding the instruction pointer. If we take the AX, CX, DX, BX registers, for example, these are 16-bit wide general purpose registers. They can hold numbers from 0 to 65,535, or up to 16 bits of information. It's important to remember that these registers are built into the hardware of the CPU itself. They are not part of your motherboard or even a part of your RAM. This is an example of the Intel move instruction. Here we move the hexadecimal value 0xFFF4 into the AX register, storing the value in the fixed 16-bit hardware region. This value will maintain here until the computer is restarted or the AX register is overwritten again. Here you can see our current general purpose register values after running that move instruction. As you can see, the AX register is hexadecimal FFF4. But did you know that the AX register composes of two sub-registers, both 8 bits wide, AH and AL, composing of 16 bits together? From setting the AX register to FFF4, we set the subregister AH to FF and the subregister AL to F4. We can address the AH or AL registers individually as 8 bit values, or we can address them together with the AX register to access both AH and AL at the same time. After running the move instruction again, but this time using the AH register and moving the value 0 into it, AX will now equal hexadecimal 00F4. This is because the AH register composes of the up 8 bits of the AX register. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, please check the video description where you can buy the actual full assembly language course and you can master the language of the machine. Okay, back to the video. All the general purpose registers, AX, BX, CX, and DX, have sub registers. BX has BH and BL. CX has CH and CL, DX has DH and DL, and all perform the same way as the AX, AH, and AL registers. The code you see in front of you is the equivalent of an if-else statement. Here we compare the AX register to see if it's equal to hexadecimal FFF4. If the register value is equal, we jump to the address in RAM 0x1000, or hexadecimal 1000. If it's not, then the next instruction will be run, which will then jump to address hexadecimal 2000. We use the JE instruction for jumping to an address in memory only if the compare instruction was successful. We use the JMP to jump to an address without any condition checks. So use the JE instruction if you want to jump only if the compare instruction was true. Use the JMP instruction if you want to jump anyway. So JMP can be thought of as a go-to. If you've ever used go-to in another language before, it's similar to that. Here is an example where we move 16 bits from the address in RAM hexadecimal 2000 into the AX register. 
So we actually go into RAM, we go in address uh, hex decimals 2000 and we pluck out two 8-bit values. One of them goes into the AH register, one into the AL register, making up the full AX register. So AX will equal whatever those two bytes in RAM were at hex decimal address 2000. Here's a more complex program, the assembly Hello World. This program will output Hello World to the screen. Best of all, it doesn't even need an operating system to run. I hope you liked this video. We learned about 16-bit legacy assembly language. In my video course, you will learn all about 32-bit assembly language with over 4 hours of content.